All right, let's talk about poop. Hopefully this isn't the first video of mine you're watching, but even if it is, we all poop, right? And so many of us humans have issues with pooping. In fact, it's one of the most common reasons that people seek out the help of a naturopathic physician. It's deeply ingrained in our training to see the connections between our diets, our gut health, and our overall health. One of the most common gastrointestinal conditions is irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, affecting approximately 10 to 15% of Americans, which is a lot of people. It used to be thought that IBS was simply a stress-induced condition that led to irregularity in bowel habits, either being constipated or having frequent loose stools, gas and bloating, and cramping. We now know that a large percent of percentage of IBS sufferers actually have overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. This condition is called SIBO, which stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Medicine loves a good acronym. Typically, we should not have large numbers of bacteria in the small intestine, but when bacteria do grow in large numbers there, it can create terrible problems with gas and bloating and even lead to some nutritional deficiencies like vitamin B12 due to lack of proper absorption. The gold standard for testing is a simple, non-invasive breath test that measures hydrogen gas given off by many of these pathogenic or bad bacteria. I've been doing this test for a number of years, and I use natural therapies, not prescription antibiotics, to treat folks with IBS and SIBO. Dietary changes are almost always a necessary component of treating any gastrointestinal condition as well. This is despite what many gastroenterologists tell their patients, which is that diet doesn't affect one bit what your gut health is like. Many patients realize that this can't be true, especially when they know they are reacting to certain foods more severely than others. I have a background in highly individualized dietary recommendations. When a patient has SIBO, I will usually restrict the diet for a minimum of three months as we try and clear the imbalances in the gut flora. Depending on the individual, some people respond very quickly, and other people it takes more like six to nine months. In any event, this has been a very important development in my understanding of irritable bowel syndrome.